Welcome to SPS Digital, where we post reviews and demo videos of profitable software and tools that will help you grow your business. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell icon to be notified whenever we upload a new video. I'm going to try to write a entire blog post in under five minutes using this new tool. Ready? Let's go. So the new tool is called the paragraph generator. Basically, you just type in about what you want to talk about and it generates a super cool paragraph for you. So how do we use that in blog posts? Let's dive in. First, I'm going to go to documents, click documents, and I'm going to click new. I'm going to go through blog post workflow. I'm going to type in my topic, how to lose weight. Click continue. It's going to give me some new titles around how to lose weight. I'm going to pick one of them and that's going to be the title for my blog post, how to lose weight in 11 easy steps. Now I'm going to generate a couple intro paragraphs and pick the best one. So far we've been writing for about 15 seconds. You struggling to lose weight. Looks pretty good. Open the editor here. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and turn this off because I don't want it repeating that over and over. Okay. So I've got the intro paragraph and I'm going to tell Jasper to write an outline, write an outline. I'm going to hit command enter, which lets it know that it's a command. Jasper's going to look at this and he's going to give me a little outline here. Great. I'm going to take that first one, open up power mode. I'm going to go to the paragraph generator. For some of you, it might be at the very bottom. You can just go star that in the template section if you want that to be at the top here. Okay. Now I'm just going to take this you know, tip number one for losing weight, set realistic goals. Okay. It's going to generate a pretty good paragraph for me. This is an old one, so disregard that. One of the most important things to do when trying to lose weight is to set realistic goals. Whether you're looking to lose a few pounds or achieve a major weight or achieve a major weight loss, uh, it's important to have a goal that's achievable. This means setting a target weight that's achievable within a certain time frame. It's also important to have realistic expectations when it comes to losing weight. Remember that weight loss is a gradual process and it may take time to reach your goal. However, by setting realistic goals or staying motivated, you can make lasting changes to your diet and lifestyle that will help you reach your weight loss goals. Boom. Okay. Next one up here. Tip number one for losing weight. And I can, I'm just going to leave number one in there because it can't actually even see what's happening over here. So I'm just going to keep pasting in my headers over here, one after another. Okay. Especially when you go it alone. This looks pretty good. I want to be sure I fix any grammatical errors. Remove that. My best tips lose weight to find support. Weight loss partner. Great. Boom. Done. I think we're a minute in. Maybe, maybe a minute and a half in. Okay. This is going to be the next one. I'm drinking plenty of water. Let me go ahead and just start the next one while I'm looking at this other one. So we always have one on deck. Okay. One simple tip that can help you with weight loss is make sure you're drinking plenty of water, keeping yourself hydrated. Boom. That's pretty good. I would just want to go back and fact check all of that. Okay. Let's see weight loss. You know, I'm going to take out this first sentence. And then I think I started off with one simple tip, one of those important things. Yeah, that's fine. Um, avoid processed foods and sugary water. You can see it didn't finish off the thought here. So I'm going to switch my output to shorter, hit compose. It's going to go ahead and just finish that sentence there. Great. I don't need that. Okay. I'm going to keep on moving here. And again, you'd want to go back and fact check all of this. But this is a great baseline here. It can be difficult to lose weight and stick to a diet, but there are some simple tips that can help. One of the most important things to remember is to eat regular meals and snacks. Oh, that's the uh, headline there. This keeps your memory. You know, here's why it's important. Yada, yada, yada. Okay. So I could do that. Get enough sleep is the next one. And if you don't like you know, one of these paragraphs, you can generate three or four of them and mix them together and grab sentences out of each one. Or if you really want two paragraphs in here, um, you could take, you know, two of them and split them apart. 
Getting a good night's sleep is essential for many aspects of health, and weight loss is no exception. Oh, that's such a great start to that. Okay, exercise regularly. Seems like it would be important here. Losing weight can be done tasks. There are simple things you can help slim down. Um, I'm going to generate another one just while I'm here. It says only burns calories. also helps boost your metabolism. Aim for at least 30 minutes of exercise a day. There we go. So I mean, these talk about two different things here. So I could do that. I could combine these. I'm not going to here just for speed's sake because I feel the need for speed. Um, avoid temptation. Stay positive. Yeah, those are okay. Let's do that. All right, folks, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to come up on my five minutes here. If I'm, uh, oh, whoops, hit the wrong button here. If I haven't already. Okay. So come back here. Avoid temptation. Give me something good. Just avoid temptation. Oh, this is good. Don't keep unhealthy snacks in the house. Avoid restaurants. One, one way to avoid temptation is to have a plan for what you'll eat ahead of time. I'm going to use Grammarly to do that. Okay, we're rolling here. Stay positive. I've got a thousand words already, and we are coming to the finish line. Okay, stay positive through the process. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm coming up on time here. I'm just going to write number 10 because I think we said 11 steps. I'm going to put 10 and then hit compose. Great. So it's going to go ahead and just looking at everything I've put before here, write out another one here. And you can see it's already set the pattern. You know, I've got header, paragraph, header, paragraph, header, paragraph. So maybe I don't even need the paragraph generator, you know, anymore now that I've got that pattern set here. Okay. And then five, get support. Okay. And then look, it already knows the title, 11 easy steps. I'm just going to keep hitting compose. These are just a few tips and trips. It's right in the conclusion paragraph. If it didn't, I could do in conclusion and then hit compose. And it would then know that I'm writing a conclusion paragraph. I could also come over here to the template on the side and write blog post conclusion paragraph and, and use that. Uh, but this is probably going to be better. Remember, every little bit counts. I want to finish that sentence. I'm going to switch to shorter and finish that. Let's do this. If you're looking for a few more ideas, there are many resources available for you to help. Those important ways to find, you know, go to my website. All right, guys, this is it. And... Boom. I'm going to come up here to the plagiarism checker. Click that. It's going to scan. I've got some text selected here. There we go. That's going to scan the whole document. 1,400 words. Congrats. No plagiarism found. 1,400 words were scanned. There's my blog post. Let's go.